Email management always seems to be a challenge. One trick that I've been using for a long time are templates. Developing templates has two advantages. First, you take the time to make thoughtful responses once. Then use that basic uh, wording over and over again, and that saves you time. And two, it sets you up for delegating that task later when you're ready. When you think about it, you see a pattern in, in most of your emails. Some questions are repeated. You find yourself typing that same response over and over again. So when it, at whatever email system you use, you should strive to find ways to utilize templates. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can implement templates in a Gmail account. So the first step is to log into Gmail. Click on the gear settings right up here. We want to make sure that your settings are set uh, correctly to accept um, templates. Go under settings and then click on the labs tab and then you're going to scroll down until you find something that's called uh, canned results or canned messages. See right here canned responses. It was at the top of mine but I want you to see that there's several different um, tools here that you can enable. Make sure that this is enabled and you'd save changes. Now go to your inbox and compose a message. And you don't have to have a subject in there, uh, but you can have a subject. And then you can uh, type, type up your sample uh, message, your template. Once you get that uh, message the way that you want it, click this More Options um, down triangle. Click on Canned Responses. To save your first one, click on the italicized New Canned Response, and then you put in the name that will help you remember. Hit OK, and then you can hit X out of there. When you compose your next message, you can go into Canned Response and you can click under the Insert. Click Sample and there it is. Make sure that your um, subject is what you want. Uh, put your recipients. And you can also uh, add things, so but you're not typing up the rest of the response. And then you can hit send. Uh, and send it to myself. So that that's how you do that. Now, if you need to respond to something, let's say here in this example, I had uh, how much are business cards? That's a question that I get uh, frequently. I'm going to hit reply. I'm going to hit my canned responses. And I'm going to go up here to insert my business card pricing. Now in my regular business card pricing, I'm going to go ahead and put in the prices so I'm not having to type that over and I'm going to be more thoughtful on the um, on the response but this gives you the the basics you don't have to type everything and you hit send let's say that you want to modify a canned response click here canned responses and you'll see here maybe you don't need the sample anymore so see how this says delete you can click delete are you sure you want to delete and you say okay 
so the next time you come in here you don't have as many canned responses. If you insert a thank you here and you want to modify it for future you can save it save that thank you and it says do you want to override it and you say OK that is how you can utilize in what Gmail calls canned responses what I call templates uh, in in your email process it will be a tremendous time saver in your daily email management. Thank you for watching this tutorial and be sure to visit our website at ScrivenerSolutions.com.